the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 324, Galatians 1-3 On the cross, Paul stressed to the Galatian church members who were shaken by false truths that we were made free not through the law, but by faith only. First point, Paul's focus on only Jesus' cross can be found in both Galatians and later Romans. During Paul's second missionary journey, Paul went to Corinth and spent a year and a half there. During this time, Paul wrote 1 and 2 Thessalonians and also Galatians. These three letters were his early letters and thus contained his sincere love towards the early churches. In particular, Galatians is the proclamation for peace and can be seen together with the Romans as the letters for religious reformation. Paul wrote Galatians in order to persuade the church members that faith was above the matters of circumcision or the laws. Paul emphasized that there was nothing above the gospel and that it was confirmed through the Jerusalem Council that the most important thing was Jesus' cross. Paul also proclaimed to be free within Jesus Christ and to bear the fruits given from the Holy Spirit. Second point, Paul repeated the warnings he gave to the Antioch church regarding the laws and the circumcision to the Galatians church. Paul clearly revealed the reason he wrote Galatians. Similarly to the Antioch church, the Galatians church was also stuck in the issue of circumcision, the laws, faith, and salvation. Thus, to those who were so fixed on the old Jewish laws, Paul taught them that there is no other gospel than Jesus Christ. Paul wrote that he received his gospel from Jesus himself, and that he was an apostle acknowledged by Jesus. Paul explained his apostleship by first declaring that it was given to him by Jesus. Second, he had been called by Jesus to become an apostle. Third, the gospel that he preached was not something he learned from other people. Fourth, he was honoring God through his missionary journeys. Third point, Paul taught the Galatians church of the recent decisions made from the Jerusalem Council that only faith could make a person righteous. In order to explain to the Galatians church about the updated decisions made in the Jerusalem Council, Paul firstly pointed out that he and Barnabas attended the council meeting. James as the host made the final declaration. It is my judgment, therefore, that we should not make it difficult for the Gentiles who are turning to God. The Jerusalem Council at that point had already declared that salvation was indeed possible without circumcision. But there were still some people in Galicia who believed that circumcision was crucial in order for salvation. Moreover, Paul added that he was just as much an apostle as Peter was. Paul proclaimed that his apostleship was not learned from other apostles, but was given directly from Jesus. In other words, Jesus had made Peter an apostle for the Jews first, and then made Paul into an apostle for foreigners. Paul explained of his apostleship through the gospel, and also added that he had once rebuked Peter. The point that Paul was getting to was that only faith could make a person righteous. Paul proclaimed that if law was the only thing that made one righteous, then Jesus died for nothing. Fourth point, Paul used the case of Abraham as an example to teach about receiving salvation through faith. After explaining all this, Paul started to rebuke the Galatians church by using a standard tactic. 
Paul told them that if they became obsessed with the law again, then they were making all their previous persecution worthless. Paul told them to decide whether the law was more important than faith. Paul used the case of Abraham to teach them about faith and salvation. Fifth point, Paul taught that the laws were a free requisite to learning about Jesus. Paul taught the Galatians church that covenant came before the laws. Paul here was referring to God's grace covenant. God had given humans the grace covenant and the foundation of the law. The Galatians church, however, had the misconception that the physical circumcision and the keeping of the laws was the only path to salvation. Paul was distressed by this and emphasized that it was only through the faith in the cross of Jesus Christ that they could gain salvation. Paul taught them that what made Abraham so respectable was not because of his keeping of the laws, but because he was a man of faith. Through faith, he was able to become the father of all nations. The laws, in other words, were only applicable until Jesus came. Therefore, Paul taught them that the laws were a prerequisite within the path to learning about Jesus Christ. This was the ultimate proclamation that a person could only be saved through Jesus Christ and by believing that He is the Son of God. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.